By now, we've figured out how easy it is to make requests in Postman. But now, let's talk about collections. Collections are groups of API requests that aid you in organizing and sharing work, but they also allow you to add tests, documentation, and more at the group level. For example, this means that, say, a pre-request script that would need to be run for multiple different requests can be added just once at the collection level instead. Let's select collections on the left sidebar of your workspace, and then select the plus button or the new button and select collection. Now that you have a new collection, you can give it a new name by clicking the pencil icon. You can also give it a description under the documentation button on the right side. Collections have authorization, pre-request scripts, tests, and variable sections that apply to all of the requests in a collection. Adding a request to a collection is as easy as just dragging an existing request onto the collection or just creating it under the menu opened by clicking the three dots to the right of the collection. This is called the collection menu. Collections are also a great way to share your requests with team members or even the public. Clicking the three dots to the right of a collection brings up this menu where you can select create a fork. For those unfamiliar with pull requests or Git, this creates a linked copy of the collection in the location that you choose where you can make changes even if you cannot edit the parent collection. After making changes, you can create a pull request under the same collection menu to merge your changes back into the original collection. Now, while collections are groups of requests and are a key way to collaborate with others, they are also the foundational building block for some of the more advanced features in Postman, such as mock servers, monitors, and automations. 